Hey guys, Jim Nix with Nomadic Pursuits and back with another video. Uh, this is also in my series called Making the Photograph where I walk you through my workflow uh, steps for uh, whatever photo I'm working on. Uh, today the photo is this one here. This is the finished product. I actually decided to start by showing you what I'm going to end up with. And this is Temple Bar in Dublin, Ireland. I got up at sunrise, actually before sunrise and got out. That's why the streets are empty and also the bars closed. The front door is actually right there. Uh, anyway, I got up early to shoot this thing so I could catch it with nobody in there, and I got kind of lucky because I had, you know, nice blue hour that morning, and I love this bicycle over here. So anyway, that's the finished product. I'm going to take you through how I made this thing, and uh, if you were in my uh, on my recent webinar that I did with Mac Fun uh, showing Aurora, I went through this image, so I'm going to take you through that workflow in a little bit more detail here than I could do on the webinar. So I'm going to merge, uh, merge these three exposures and bring them into Aurora, uh, create my base HDR, and get started from there. So uh, I'm going to reset that and just collapse the menu. So this is where we start, and as you can see, it's very orange compared to the end result, and that's something I changed significantly, and I'm going to start that right now. The first thing I do is go into the realistic HDR category, and I get this realistic desaturated, and I just put it on the... Uh, on the base layer, just apply it directly at 100% opacity. And as you can see, there's the before, there's the after. Uh, it did bring up some of the details and it also uh, reduced some of the saturation, which I like. Uh, however, I'm gonna do the same thing again, uh, the exact same, if I can type, I'm just gonna call it real desat. I'm gonna go and get the exact same uh, preset one more time and just hit it twice. Um, it's not something I do a lot, but the beauty of the layers uh, capability in Aurora means you can do whatever you want, really. And uh, I want to do that, right? So here I go. Uh, there it is. Let me show you the uh, the previous layer and uh, this layer. So again, I lost some saturation, uh, mostly in the oranges, which I like because it was way too orange. Um, and also, uh, it wasn't really that orange in person. Um, and also, it brought up some more of the details. Let me show you. Uh, take away all the adjustments. That's the base HDR. That's after uh, two presets. But uh, we're just getting started. So now I'm going to go add the ethereal preset, and this is in the dramatic category, and it's one that I use a lot. I really like it. Let me show you. Now, if you look at it, it's really desaturated quite a bit. Um, I don't know what the word is. I guess ethereal is the word because that's what they call it, but it's kind of moodier, uh, but it's a little too much for me, too desaturated. So I'm going to take this layer, uh, the opacity of this layer down quite a bit. Let's call it like 55%, 54 sounds good. So let me show you what that did. There was uh, the, the first two presets and now the third one. So it's taken a significant amount of that orange glow, uh, that orange out of the, uh, uh, of the photo. And also, as you can see, from the beginning to now, I've also brightened up a lot of the stonework, both in the temple bar itself and in the street and even in the building over here on the right. So let me show you again one more time. There's that, and there's where we are. So we're getting much closer, and in my opinion, it's looking a whole lot better. Uh, but we're not done, so I'm going to do some color work. I'll just call this colors. Uh, the next thing I'm going to use is not a preset, but I'm going to go into this color toning. And this is uh, also known as split toning. It's super powerful, and it's probably one of my favorite things. I, I just, uh, I absolutely love split toning. Uh, I used to use it in Lightroom a whole lot, but now that I do everything here in Aurora, I pretty much just use it here in Aurora because that's where I edit all my photos, but it allows you to adjust the tint and the saturation of the uh, highlights separately from what you do to the shadows. And it sounds very simple, and in truth it is very simple, uh, but it's incredibly powerful. I don't hear very much about it in the photo community, but I love it. It's, it's huge, and uh, it's one of my favorite things. So um, you can move the sliders to make all the adjustments, or you can just click on some of these boxes. These are actually presets within the split toning or color toning Category. So you can just I'll click on some of these and show you what they look like. And as, as I click on each one, you'll see that the sliders over here have changed, right? So you can just kind of go through the, uh, the rectangular box here. The left color represents the highlights, and the, uh, the right color in the rectangle represents what they've done to the shadows. Now the one that I like the best for this photo is this second one. Uh, I like that quite a lot. Although I have to say, it's a little too intense. So once again, I've applied it to this layer and it defaults to 100% opacity, but I'm gonna get in this opacity slider and I took that down to about 62% and I like that a lot. So let me show you where we were. 
Again, it was fairly orange still after doing a couple of desaturation layers and the ethereal layer, uh, but now with the color toning or split toning applied, here we go. It's getting to represent more of the true color of the scene. The blue was kind of nice, and it wasn't quite as orange in real life as it was displayed in the, uh, in the base HDR photo. So we're getting pretty close here. Um, the other thing I'm going to do in the color uh, panel uh, is, is mess with the saturation and vibrance a little bit. Uh, I'm going to pull these up just a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit more than that. Let's call that there. And, you know, maybe pull this up a little bit. Now, that will bring up the, uh, the orange glow a little bit, but it's not enough to, um, you know, remove the things I've done by trying to take it away in the previous step. So it still works out pretty well. Uh, but one of the other things I really like to do a lot of is messing with the temperature and tint sliders here in the color menu. Uh, I want to get a little bit more of the blue hour look, so I'm going to drag the temperature slider a little bit to the left, get it a little bit more blue, and I often take tint at the same time and sort of drag it the other way. And there we go. Let me show you what um, this adjustment uh, panel has done with saturation, vibrance, temperature, and tint. There we go. I don't know if you can tell. It's a It's a uh, to me, it's a big change, but on the video, it may not look quite as big. And there we are now. Let me show you the entire layer. There we go. It was quite a bit orange, and uh, now we're looking a lot uh, better tones, I think, across the uh, the, the frame and, and everything. So um, I think we're getting there. And the last thing I would do is add some denoise. And uh, that's one of my other favorite things about Aurora. Uh, in the old days, when I used Photomatics, I'd have to make a few round trips to get my photo looking the way I wanted to different programs. Uh, but then after that, I'd have to make another final round trip to go do noise reduction. But I do all that in Aurora now, and uh, I love it. So I'm going to apply noise reduction. I'm going to do like, you know, 20 or so and, you know, do 10 or 12 here. But I don't want it to go across the whole photo, so I'm going to grab the brush, which is right up here. And I'm going to make sure the opacity is at 100, reduce the size because I just want to hit the sky. And I'm going to uh, apply this to the sky. Now I'm doing this kind of rough because this is a video, but uh, this is how I would do it, uh, you know, if I was editing this photo for my portfolio or for a client, I would just do a little bit finer job around the edge. Whoops. Uh, uh, hang on here. There we go. Um, I would do, there we go. Ah, nope, sorry. Gosh, I want to finish painting that. Hello. I got to wake up. And then I want to, left bracket will allow you to reduce the size of that and I'm going to change it to eraser and I'm going to clean up a little bit around these edges and uh, take some of that off of there. Again, this is not going to be a perfectly clean mask because I'm doing it for the video. Uh, in real life, I'd probably spend a little bit more time on it, but I, I definitely want to get it close, right? So I think uh, that will have to qualify as close, just about, there we go. Get some of that out of there. Let me hide the mask. And there's the photo. Let me remove the uh, the noise reduction layer. Uh, I don't know if you can see now that there's a, a little bit more detail in the sky. And that's due to using these sets, uh, this realistic desaturation. It bumps up the details a bit. And remember, I used it twice. And the ethereal does as well. So I brought out details <clears throat> Excuse me, across pretty much the whole photo. Um, and so I went in with the, uh, with the denoise to remove them from the sky. And there it is with the noise reduction uh, applied just to the sky based on the mask. So let me show you where we started. There we go. Super early in the morning, way too early to be honest, but I was up and I couldn't stand not getting up to shoot because it's Dublin and it's a temple bar. And honestly, it's one of my favorite places. I just love it. So uh, every time I'm there, I go shoot uh, sunrise at the temple bar. It's my thing. Uh, but there it is. Super orange looking, uh, deserted streets, which is great that time of day, but the orange glow from the lights. And, and really, I think that's exaggerated with the uh, HDR and combining the, uh, the photos. But after all these adjustments, I've got it looking like that, which is my final product. And that's it. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.